One last thing about strings that also applies to uh, other data types, other, other objects as well, is dir and help. These dir and help methods. These can show us more useful data uh, about the objects we're trying to work with. Dir shows us the available attributes and methods of a data type. So we could put a string within the parentheses of dir, and it will show the available methods on that string. I will show you this in action, but want you to be aware that special dunder methods, as they're called, with these lines, these underscores surrounding the method name, are properties or values associated with the string object. And then just methods, which are just shown as the name of a method, the text of it, are functions that can be called on the object to perform various operations or manipulations. And we did talk about several of these uh, a few lecture videos back. And then the help method can show helpful information about a data type or attribute or method. So we can call help and then put a string in there, or we can put our string in here dot title or dot capitalize. We could put our, our string literal right, right this or a variable in there. So let's show you a few examples of dir and help and how these show uh, some useful things about, about these objects. So we say, if we say uh, new string equals, let's say earth. Now what if we do dir on new string? We see all this gibberish that pops up. Now, if you remember in the last slide, we talked about dunder methods, which are surrounded by these underscores, and then the name of the method, and then regular methods, which are just the name. And so these dunder methods are properties or values. So we see some of these here. One you'll recognize is um, uh, length for length. We can call length on a string. Um, so we could say length of new string. And the string object knows, it has a special way of, of interpreting that and understanding that, and it knows to return the number of characters in the string. And then if we look at all these other methods here that don't have the, that dunder around them, that those underscores, we can see that these are our methods that uh, we can call uh, from the string. So new string dot, and then any one of these, any one of these methods. So let's pick a random one of, um, well, maybe not a random one. Let's see, count, right? And then we could put uh, the occurrence of a letter in there. I don't know, X, but we know that's not in there. So there's zero, zero letters X in that, in our string. We can also do, um, so that's the dir, that's the dir uh, method, very helpful. We can also do help on, let's try this on new string. So we see there's no documentation for our string, but if we do help on string, str, which is the actual data type, we see there's lots of output and it, there we go. It didn't want to return it all, but there it's returning it. And we see documentation about the string object. Let's go to the top here. It's help on the class string in the built-in modules. Tells you what it does, defines all the methods. It's another way we see these thunder methods and then the regular methods. It's another way of showing more information about uh, than dir. Now we can also do a concise way of, of doing this. So help a new string, and then we could do dot and one of these methods. So let's try that. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom here. If we can, there we go. Help new string dot 
capitalize. That's one of the methods for strings. So we can see it outputs the uh, the the help text of the capitalized method um, for a string. So wanted to show you that dir and help. And these can be uh, quick ways to find out more information about our, our strings or other data types.